In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus said, be holy as your heavenly Father is holy. Very important to get to know the saints, to read their lives. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says the saints are very helpful in two ways. Number one is their power of intercession. They can pray for us to God so that we can receive every special graces. The second is that they are models for us to imitate. The universal call to holiness, this is the fifth chapter of the dogmatic constitution, Lumen Gentium. On August 21st, the church celebrates a pope, and his name is Pope St. Pius X. Here's a picture of the pope. He was instrumental in many great reforms. I think that the church is going through a tough time. We can pray to St. Pope Pius X to intercede and pray for the church. Up to his uh, life, he lived in the year, he was born actually in the year 1835, and he died in 1914. Up to that point, uh, children did not make their first communion until later on. But through prayer he recognized, Jesus said, let the little children come to me. So children at the age of seven years old were already able to receive communion, thanks to St. Pope Pius X. Back then, Catholics would not read the Bible that much. He encouraged the pe people, the Catholics, to read the Bible. He actually set up a biblical institute promoting reading of the Bible. He was instrumental also in liturgical reform. And also back then, uh, there was not too much participation in politics, and he encouraged lay people to be involved in the political realm to try to promote justice and charity. He would also, he was very strong in helping out the poor, the refugees and the immigrants. Pope Pius the tenth also suffered very much because the First World War broke up and he said, I would gladly give my life to save my poor children from this ghastly scourge. Twenty two days later later he actually died. One of his prayers was I am a poor man and Jesus Christ is all. All of his life, he had been poor. Having used up his money to help the poor, he really died poor. Even during his lifetime, Pius X had been regarded as a saint. When Pius XII canonized him, he became the first canonized pope since Pius V in 1672. His motto was to renew all things in Christ. So let's ask St. Pope Pius X to pray for us and to pray for the Church. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.